Good morning students so today we will learn about the types of forest in india under our chapter forest resources in india class 4 so there are mainly five types of forest that are tropical evergreen forest tropical deciduous forest tropical thorn forest mountain forest and swamp forest now let us discuss these forest in detail so first of all before proceeding the chapter we must know where are these forests located as the name indicate mountain forest so you can uh, get idea that where are these forests located so jammu kashmir uttarakhand himachal arunachal sikkim mountain forest are located in these area you can see from the map symbols also so deciduous forest the light green part which is shown in the picture light uh, sea green part that is deciduous forest deciduous forest cover the mostly part of the india so most common forest found in india are deciduous forest then we have mangrove forest if you see the light green color here it is nearly about the deltas of the rivers like sundarban delta in the ganga brahmaputra delta and uh, mahanadi delta godavari delta these are found then we have next we have tropical thorn forest tropical thorn forest the forest generally contains the thorns and bushes and uh, scaly uh, uh, leaves of the plants so these are generally located with white color so you can see here a uh, parts of rajasthan haryana some parts of western parts of haryana gujarat and uh, madhya pradesh as well as in andhra pradesh so these are the location of forest i told you now we will proceed to uses you know that why we need to uh, study about the forest because there are various uses of forest to human beings for example they provide us timber and they provide us food medicines chemicals tourism tourism they are the uh, favorite tourist sports also uh, people visit for trekking mountains then uh, as a habitat of uh, different wild animals uh, they are the home of wild animals and uh, for example education for education they provide us paper uh, they support fire uh, household work with uh, fire providing firewoods and recreational activity like we go for picnic or uh, for uh, enjoying and most of the researches uh, researchers also use these uh, for the different researches of medicine as well as uh, in uh, different things now some uh, some of the uses of neem plant as this is also wild uh, resource and for example one uh, i have taken one plant anti cancer property it has it has in insecticides properties and uh, antibacterial properties and anti antimicrobial properties anti arthritis properties pesticide killer theek okay, hai it provide us seeds and uh, used to make fertilizers and uh, anti inflammatory properties also it has it provide many of the uh, beauty products it is used and in soap products so you can search more about it now i told you that uh, forests are useful for the wildlife animal as uh, wild animal live inside the forest it is their home which uh, samrat ashok akbar and gautam buddha they were uh, in favor of protecting the animals and wild plants and uh, generally we need to understand why these plants grow in such areas because of the climatic condition of a particular area for example the climatic condition of uh, western ghat uh, and himalayas and uh, uh, north eastern india is uh, good for the uh, growing plants and forest so they are remain lush green throughout the year mostly evergreen forests are found in these areas due to rainfall excessive rainfall and there is one term that people are hunting and killing animals for their own benefits that is illegal and that is called poaching that generally asked in exam what is poaching from class 4th so poaching is a illegal hunting of animals then forest type i told you mountain forest we will uh, start first so mountain forests are stretches over the western himalayas in the eastern himalayas then the trees generally found of oak and walnut and their leaves are generally broad 
and they remains throughout the year green because of the rainfall at a particular time and the areas uh, of the state covered is himalayas jammu kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand and arunachal pradesh the next is Uh, deciduous forest deciduous forest covers a large part of india uh, the trees are found in this region are generally tall and having broad trunk who have attended the google meet with me they i uh, explained them this thing so mountain forest the general uh, picture of mountain forest the pine trees you can see here and this is also pine tree uh, having needle like structure of the their leaves and this is oak tree coniferous oak tree this is oak tree you can see here it's broad leaves and it is oak tree these are coniferous trees known as cheer or deodar or cedar in english and the common animal or birds are found in this region the state uh, state bird of himachal pradesh then and this is found this type of trees broad trunk and broad leaves these are found in the region of deciduous trees uh, and i told you the reason where madhya pradesh gujarat maharashtra these areas okay and it is a banyan tree and the national tree of india then we have neem i told its specification in a earlier in starting now swamp forest third type of forest we have swamp forest or marshy forest these are generally located in the area of deltas i told uh, andaman nicobar island and delta of ganga and brahmaputra they are also known as mangrove forest these swamp forest are also known as mangrove forest and generally these uh, mangrove forest contain sundri trees i'll show you the picture of sundri trees and so these are sundri trees and their roots you can see here it's outside from the level of water to breathe why it is outside because it is uh, need to breathe from the roots next type of trees we have wet evergreen forest wet evergreen forest these are found in the western ghats and andaman nicobar islands and the northeastern part of himalayas that is assam arunachal pradesh meghalaya and tripura these uh, region contain the tropical evergreen forest evergreen means they do not shed their leaves together in dry season okay and there is enough rainfall to grow them properly and they are generally tripod uh, like trunk they have and generally uh, trees found in this are uh, rosewood mahogany and ebony and their upper surface is looking like a cauliflower जैसे कि गोभी होती है उसकी तरह से इसका अपर सरफेस आपको देखने को मिलेगा देन वी हैव डेजर्ट एंड थोन फॉरेस्ट डेजर्ट एंड थोन फॉरेस्ट आर फाउंड इन द रीजन ऑफ राजस्थान गुजरात एज आई टोल्ड यू एंड द ट्रीज आर फाउंड इन दिस रीजन आर जनरली श्रब्स एंड दे हैव लॉन्ग रूट्स टू एब्जॉर्व वॉटर फ्रॉम द सॉयल नेक्स्ट वी हैव एंड दे हैव थिक स्टेम्स दीज आर सुंदरी ट्रीज Sundri trees of Sundarban located in West Bengal. You can see here. The next we have these are. Can you identify which uh, type of forest is this? Yes, bushes and thorns like structure. Thorns like kikar babool type of plants are grown here. So these are thorn forest located in Rajasthan, Gujarat, parts of Haryana. Okay. Now these are having thick stem and long root cactus tree. plant here you also can see this thick stems bounty wildlife sanctuaries there are number of wildlife sanctuaries located in india they, they their number is 551 there in book it is given wrong 500 almost they have written but till 2019 551 wildlife sanctuaries are uh, identified and then we have 18 biospheres in india and 100 national parks now you will be confused what are national parks and what are sanctuaries and what are biospheres these are the protected areas to animals for example wildlife sanctuary these are the protected habitat of the animals jahan wo rehte hain unko wahi pe protect karna that is called sanctuaries and national parks jo hote hain they are the artificial uh, 
मैन मेड हैबिटेट फॉर द प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स ओके देन वी हैव एटीन बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व विच प्रोवाइड प्रोटेक्शन टू द एनिमल्स एंड पीपल एंड प्लांट्स हु लिवस इन दीज एरियाज जो वहाँ पर रहते हैं उनको वहीं पर प्रोटेक्शन देना फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव सम बायोस्फीयर्स लाइक नंदा देवी गल्फ ऑफ मन्नार नीलगिरी नोकरेक एंड सुंदरबन दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स नाउ प्रोटेक्ट मदर नेचर देर वर सो मैनी एविडेंस वी गेट फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस ईयर्स दैट पीपल आर वर्किंग फॉर द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स सो वन ऑफ दीज व चिपको मूवमेंट दैट वॉज स्टार्टेड इन अप्रिल नाइनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री इन द विलेज ऑफ मंडल इन उत्तराखंड एंड इट वॉज लेड बाय वुमेन एक्टिविस्ट मेनली एंड वॉट दे हैव डन इन दिस दे हक द ट्री एंड सेव देयर लाइफ एंड मेन अट्रैक्शन ऑफ दीज मेन लीडर्स ऑफ दीज दिस मूवमेंट वॉज गोरा देवी बाजनी देवी धूम सिंह नेगी सुंदर लाल बहुगुना एंड चंडी प्रसाद भट्ट एंड देर इज अनदर वन एविडेंस दैट वॉज ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश इन टू थाउजेंड नाइन दे टाइड द राखीज टू द ट्रीज सो हेयर वी हैव एटीन बायो स्पेयर रिजर्व कोल्ड डिजर्ट नंदा देवी कंचनजंगा मानस and the bung these some are sundarban uh, kutch these all are the 18 bio reserves in bio reserves in india this is one of the method uh, my student have shared with me uh, he has a uh, plant a uh, small nursery at his home he is of class 10th uh, this also my student has sent me so i would like to tell you that you all students will start growing at a, a home at your home a few nurseries so that you can plant more and more trees the in the areas which are vacant hope this chapter is clear to you now this picture is of sundarlal bahu guna he was born in january 9 and who was he he was the one of the leader of chipko movement all you can and he was also awarded through the padma vibhushan award in india and she is gora devi which was the mahila president at that time and also known as the goddess of the mountains and bachni devi and he was she was the first woman to hug the trees bachni devi and dhum singh negi is dhum singh negi and it's of himachal pradesh they tied rakhi to the plants and saved the trees the movement started in himachal pradesh thank you hopefully you liked my video uh, if you like then like and share thank you